Fast Times at Ridgemont High. You may have seen the film in the theaters. Well, the video cassette version to be available for your home viewing will be released next month. Will, however, be slightly different than the theatrical release due to various international publishing and copyright complications. Nine songs out of the 34 had to be dropped. Songs by people like Tom Petty, Donna Summer. They had to be taken off the soundtrack, but you will hear the music from people like Jackson Brown and the Go-Go's and the places where the songs that had to be dropped were. There are going to be new songs recorded over by a local Los Angeles recording, recording person. What do you call that? Recording artist, of course. Billy Idol, who was a member of one of the first generation punk bands, Generation X, moved to New York last year to start his solo career. And we asked him how moving to the U.S. influenced his music. I see things usually from a much more personal viewpoint. So I just focused in on all the things that were around me. So some of the things in the album, sure, are going to have American influences because I'm living in America. But it's just pretty much to do with my own personality rather than anything else. I always liked a lot of American music, American rock and roll. I always liked the Velvet Underground, Iggy and the Stooges, the New York Dolls, Lou Reed, people like that. They're the people who inspired me. So I was always, and I you know, still do, my favorite American groups, the Cramps and Gun Club and Suicide and people like that. And uh, so for me, it's just like, you know, yeah, I'd want to come here because most of my favorite music comes from this place. So that's, it's like exciting for me, you know? You get to see all the things you want, you know? Not all the, you know... <laughs> you know, I don't want to see a costume drama all the time. I want to see something real, you know? One thing, one thing that Billy probably is not doing is turning Japanese. So let's go to the vape. 